Hi everybody, it's Claire from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot uh, coming to you for mid-month reading for the sign of Virgo uh, for the month of October. So I've decided I'm not going to do weekly readings anymore because it's just too much for me and too much for everybody. I think it's just overwhelming. I'm going to simplify it and do a middle of the month reading and beginning of the month reading. And I will still post my daily oracle cards. So for you Virgos, Virgos out there, uh, the middle of the month, I pulled the very first card and that is the Ace of Cups. So you can see here the Ace of Cups is filled with water, which is a lot of emotions. It is the beginning of new love, romantic love, and it's a feel and a pull and it's excitement in the heart. Okay, so the Ace of Cups, again, this is an excellent omen uh, regarding love. Either an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better. Um, indeed, for an exciting relationship, this could be a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It will feel almost like a new and encouraging start. If you are as yet, if you are as yet uncommitted, a new relationship is likely to appear soon. And maybe even a baby. Look at that. If you are, you guys are looking to have a baby or something like that, it's new marriage. It could be an engagement, anything like that. New relationship, whatever you want to call it. It's a really, really good start. So the next one, talking about babies, is the Empress. So the Empress depicts a woman likely pregnant. And she's comfortable and she's got a lavish life. She represents fertility, not just for human life, but ideas of other creations as well. She brings ideas into fru fru fruition. Uh, not just thoughts, but actions begin with the Empress. Okay, She helps things mature and develop. She represents the threes, and uh, the threes represent taking action. Okay, So... Um, and it's the first affirmation... First affirmative steps towards new beginnings. So with her, it's an it's steps towards new beginnings. So here's a new beginning right here. Okay, there it is. And these are the next steps to the new beginnings. So I'm just kind of I'm just going to look at what this says here for the Empress. Uh, this is a potent time for love. You may find them that men and women alike are suddenly finding you far more attractive both in terms of friendship and romance. And you will want to be careful with how you use this power, as it's very potent. If you are single, this is a time when love, true love, could very well come your way. Committed relationships often become sweeter, deeper, and truer under this influence. Okay? So it's a very, very nice card. But the third card here is the Deceiver, which is also known as the devil so you can see the horns there okay you can see the bats um right there's the bats there's a crow uh and a man and a woman who seem to have the same char characteristics like in the rider tarot you can see that they have the same characteristics as the devil but in this one it doesn't show it um, and they have chains around their necks, which are loose. Okay, so they're capable of slipping these chains off, but choose to remain chained. This card also represents addictions, a vice, or an obsession. These are things we can slip off easily and escape from if we desire. Okay, if it represents a person, it's a powerful person. One who is hard to resist. They may have power over you by mani manipulation, strength, or persuasion. In a relationship, it may also talk about unhel unhealthy codependency. Okay, it's about willingness, will it's about willful submission to ourselves and to our desires. And struggling with weakness and temptation. But I'm just going to see here. Um, uh, let's see here. So the devil in... A love aspect, it says here, if you're in a long-term romantic relationship, one or both parties may have gotten to the point where they feel as though they are trapped in the situation. 
If you're getting signal that this is the case, try to talk about it if you want to save the relationship. This card also sometimes appears when there is really nothing to be done but to end an unhappy relationship. We always have choices. Take steps to keep the magic alive. If you're seeking love, this may be a signal that you're reaching the point of desperation, an attitude which definitely drives off uh, would-be lovers. If that's the case, consider taking a short time out from relationship seeking and get to know yourself better. Return to your search when it's feeling less urgent. I don't know if this really applies to you guys because here we've got the Ace of Cups, great beginnings. This is the steps to those beginnings, okay? But then all of a sudden the devil comes along. So I would say, um, if nothing else, is there someone that you've been wanting? I My intuition talks to me about how if it's something that you've been obsessing about, someone that um, uh, is a powerful person in your life who's been really hard to resist, this could be the person that's coming to you. But just be careful because it might not be a healthy relationship. Okay. Talks about codependency. So just be careful there. But, you know... Um, just because it's new love doesn't mean it's the best love, right? And these are steps to it. So it might be something that you've all you've always, always wanted. And the steps are coming together for that. But just be careful of the kind of person it is. Okay? All right. Okay, so this was for a reading for the sign of Virgo. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. <laughs>